Leviticus chapter 14. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, This shall be the law of the leper in the day of his cleansing. He shall be brought to the priest, and the priest shall go forth out of the camp, and the priest shall look, and behold, if the plague of leprosy be healed in the leper. Then shall the priest command to take for him, that is to be cleansed, two birds alive and clean, and cedar wood and scarlet and hyssop. And the priest shall command that one of the birds be killed in an earthen vessel over running water. As for the living bird, he shall take it and the cedar wood and the scarlet and the hyssop and shall dip them and the living bird in the blood of the bird that was killed over the running water. And he shall sprinkle upon him that is, to be cleansed from the leprosy seven times, and shall pronounce him clean, and shall let the living bird loose into the open field. And he that is to be cleansed shall wash his clothes, and shave off all his hair, and wash himself in water, that he may be clean. And after that he shall come into the camp, and shall tarry abroad out of his tent seven days, But it shall be on the seventh day that he shall shave all his hair off his head and his beard and his eyebrows, even all his hair he shall shave off. And he shall wash his clothes. Also he shall wash his flesh in water, and he shall be clean. And on the eighth day he shall take two he lambs without blemish, and one ewe lamb of the first year without blemish, and three tenth deals of fine flour for a meat offering, mingled with oil, and one log of oil, and the priest that makes him clean shall present the man that is to be made clean, and those things before the Lord at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall take one he lamb and offer him for a trespass offering, and the log of oil, and wave them for a wave offering before the Lord. And he shall slay the lamb in the place where he shall kill the sin offering and the burnt offering in the holy place. For as the sin offering is the priest, so is the trespass offering. It is mostly holy. And the priest shall take some of the blood of the trespass offering, and the priest shall put it upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot. And the priest shall shake some of the log of oil, and pour it into the palm of his own left hand. And the priest shall dip his right finger in the oil that is in the left hand, and shall sprinkle of the oil with his finger seven times before the Lord. And the and of the rest of the oil that is in his hand, the priest shall put on the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot, upon the blood of the trespass offering. And the remnant of the oil that is in the priest's hand, he shall pour upon the head of him that is to be cleansed. And the priest shall make an atonement for him and before the Lord. And the priest shall offer the sin offering and make an atonement for him. That is to be cleansed from his uncleanness. And afterward, he shall kill the burned offering. And the priest shall offer the burnt offering and the meat offering upon the altar. And the priest shall make an atonement for him, and he shall be clean. And if he be poor and cannot get so much, then he shall take one lamb for a trespass offering to be weighed, to make an atonement for him, and one-tenth deal of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering, and a log of oil, and two turtle doves, or two young pigeons, such as he is able to get. And the one shall be a sin offering, and the other a burned offering. And he shall bring them on the eighth day for his cleansing to the priest, to the door of the tabernacle of the congregation before the Lord. And the priest shall take the lamb of the trespass offering, and the log of oil, and the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before the Lord. And he shall kill the lamb of the trespass offering, 
And the priest shall take some of the blood of the trespass offering and put it on the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed and upon the thumb of his right hand and upon the great toe of his right foot. And the priest shall pour of the oil into the palm of his own left hand and the priest shall sprinkle with his right finger some of the oil that is in his left hand seven times before the Lord. And the priest shall put of the oil that is in his hand upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot, upon the place of the blood of the trespass offering. And the rest of the oil that is in the priest's hand, he shall put upon the head of him that is to be cleansed, to make an atonement for him before the Lord. And he shall offer the one of the turtle doves, or of the young pigeons, such as he can get, even such as he is able to get, the one for a sin offering, and the other for a burned offering, with the meat offering, and the priest shall make an atonement for him that is to be cleansed before the Lord. This is the law of him in whom is the plague of leprosy, whose hand is not able to get that which pertains to his cleansing. And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, When you be come into the land of Canaan, which I give to you for a possession, and I put the plague of leprosy in a house of the land of your possession, and he that owns the house shall come and tell the priest, saying, It seems to me there is, as it were, a plague in the house. Then the priest shall command that they empty the house before the priest go into it to see the plague, that all that is in the house be not made unclean, and afterward the priest shall go in to see the house. And he shall look on the plague, and behold, if the plague be in the walls of the house with hollow strakes, greenish or reddish, which in sight are lower than the wall, then the priest shall go out of the house to the door of the house, shut up the house seven days, and the priest shall come again the seventh day, and shall look, and behold, if the plague be spread in the walls of the house, then the priest shall command that they take away the stones in which the plague is, and they shall cast them into an unclean place outside the city, and he shall cause the house to be scraped within round about, and they shall pour out the dust that they scrape off outside the city into an unclean place, and they shall take other stones and put them in the place of the stones, and he shall take other mortar and shall plaster the house. And if the plague come again and break out in the house, after that he has taken away the stones, after he has scraped the house, and after it is plastered, then the priest shall come and look and behold, if the plague be spread in the house, it is a fretting leprosy in the house. It is unclean. And if he shall break down the house, the stones of it, and the timber thereof, and all the mortar of the house, and he shall carry them forth out of the city into an unclean place. Moreover, he that goes into the house, all the while that is shut up, shall be unclean until the evening. And he that lies in the house shall wash his clothes, and he that eats in the house shall wash his clothes. And if the priest come in and look upon it, and behold, the plague has not spread in the house after the house was plastered, then the priest shall pronounce the house clean because the plague is healed. And he shall take to cleanse the house two birds in cedar wood and scarlet and hyssop, and he shall kill the one of the birds in the earthen vessel over running water, and he shall take the cedar wood and the hyssop and the scarlet and the living bird, and dip them in the blood of the slain bird and in the running water, and sprinkle the house seven times. And he shall cleanse the house with the blood of the bird and with the running water, 
and with the living bird, and with the cedar wood, and with the hyssop, and with the scarlet. But he shall let go the living bird out of the city into the open fields, and make an atonement for the house, and it shall be clean. This is the law for all manner of plague, of leprosy, and scowl, and for the leprosy of a garment, and of a house, and for a rising, and for a scab, and for a bright spot, to teach when it is unclean. And when it is clean, this is the law of leprosy.